After two years of cancellations or even a modified schedule, the Galveston County Fair and Rodeo is back for some good old country family fun. Danielle Tobaldo is one of their board members and is here with two special guests to explain how we can all enjoy a true hometown fair experience. It is great to see you along with little Sammy and Theo. Theodore, yeah. They're taking a little nap. Listen, it really is so great to see you because last year was modified. The year before you had to cancel because of COVID, right. but the fair is back and it's better than ever. We are back. We are back and we are so happy to be back. So there's lots of activities out there for everybody. Of course, you can come out to the petting zoo and see these cuties. Mm. Um, all of the carnival favorites, Carn you know, the carnival and everything, the rodeo. Um, we've got a buddy uh, rescue this year that's going to be a lot of fun. You got to come out and watch that. So we're just excited to be back. Yeah, I it feels good. It's absolutely great to see. And I'm, I'm guessing over the last week, crowds have been good. The excitement's been great. But this is the chance now to get out there because of the final weekend. Correct. This is it. You've got till Saturday, so don't wait till the last day. Come out and enjoy all the fun. Okay, listen, we're taking a tight shot of these two, Theodore and Sammy. They're part of the petting zoo and all the fun that you can have here at the Galveston County Fair and Rodeo. Um, let's talk about these two, though, because they were just born, right? The little one, Sammy, was four, he's four weeks old, so he's oh actually still gosh. nursing on mama, so he's going to be ready to get back to the petting zoo once we leave here. <laughs> um, and then seven weeks, so they are they're newbies. They're little ones. Okay, so let's talk about the 4-H and FFA youth exhibitors. This year, there are around 600 youth yes, exhibitors. Usually that many across the board for all the events, uh, the livestock and the ag mechanics and the youth project shows. So we actually had our big livestock auction last night, which was a huge success. And I mean, these young people, they work all year long for this this event. All I mean, year. this is the pinnacle for them. Yes, and a lot of them show at different, you know, Houston and San Antonio and Fort Worth. So they get to come to the county show and, and exhibit there as well. So it's really exciting. And it was great to have a full fair for them this year as yeah. well. You touched on this for just a second, Danielle. Let's talk about what is new and what is this Buddy Rescue? The Buddy Rescue is going to be in the Rodeo Arena. It's one of those you have to come and see. You got to see it to believe it. So it's going to be a lot of fun and we're excited about having that out. Can you year. describe to us a little bit about like, come what watch. it is? Come on, give us a hint, Danielle. No? No, you got to come watch. Okay, oh, that's secrets. all we get. Okay. Well, listen, that's I how I'm going to get like, you out. <laughs> it's, it's a good tease. So uh, in addition to the lovely food and the activities, I mean, there really is something for everyone out at the fair. It's a very long corn dog right there. Yes. you got burritos and funnel cakes, all the traditional uh, fair food. But you also have some pretty great performances coming up this we year. We do. We do. We have the bag of donuts coming up fr uh, Friday night. And then our fan favorite, John Stork, will be Saturday. Okay, John Stork, that's a name I know, and our viewers are about to know a little bit better in just a moment, right? That is right. And before we get to John, let's talk about, we talked about how important this is for the kids, and let's talk about the scholarships here, because that is really the main reason for that. It is, for it them. is. Last year, even being modified, we were pleased to be able to award $47,000 to our Galveston County seniors for their scholarships. Um, but that is, everything goes back into the general fund. We work on getting those kids scholarships so they can further their education and, you know, encourage them to come back and be involved as well. So we're very excited that we were able to give out and look to give out more this year. Well, and the weather gods really are uh, working in your favor. If you have not had a chance to get out to the Galveston County Fair and Rodeo, go this weekend because this is the last weekend. You can go tonight, tomorrow. Is Saturday the last day? Saturday's the last day. So come on out, go to the, access the website, GalvestonCountyFair.com. You can get your tickets, get all the lineup information, schedules, um, check out any, other, any events you want to see out there. But okay, fantastic. And thanks to Theodore and Sammy, too. Yes, they Their have well behaved. <laughs> over, overload. They're so spooning well over there. They're so cute. Danielle Tobaldo, thank you so much for your thanks time. Thanks for having us. Well, coming up, before he takes the stage at the Galveston County Fair and Rodeo, Texas country artist John Stork is performing live in our studio. He's here, people. You don't want to miss this. Don't go away. Houston Life will be right back.